Good morning. This is day five of week number two, and everything's complete. I am glad it's complete. <laughs> um, this has been this has been an extremely busy, busy week. Uh, learned a lot. Learned a lot this week uh, as we're as we're making several transitions in in our life, in 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 business, and life, and just everything's just kind of you know just. Some things are going away. <laughs> Some things are coming coming back, you know, and just trying to figure out how to to maneuver it all. But I'm I'm looking forward to this um, Memorial Day weekend. I just pray we take some time and just give thanks for all the the veterans and everybody that's been. I mean that's that's given, you know, and allows to have these freedoms. And just take some time with our family. And just uh, just be uh, you know reflective and and uh, give thanks where thanks is, should be due and give honor where honor should be due and I'm, so I'm 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 looking forward to for that and I'm looking forward to we're going to go out to the lake and and um, relax and have some fun but um, you know every day this last week you know there's been a a different twist on things and it just re, it just reminds me you know that. The Bible says that don't worry about tomorrow. You know, you can't change the past. Every day will have trouble of its own. Every day will have a challenge or an obstacle of its own. And so you just got to, again had to be in the moment and that's why I love these this morning time, you know, um go seek the Lord in the morning, get your instructions in in the morning, get your perspective in the morning. And um, one thing that, you know, when you feel like you're getting caught up and everything's just kind of um, crashing down on you or you don't feel like um, something's not quite going right or you just, you just get this overwhelming, I don't want to say fear, but overwhelming, you know, something like a cloud's over over you. One thing that came into me was like when, when, you're, when, in your, when you're in doubt, zoom out. When you're in doubt, zoom out because because when you're in when you're in like if you're in the eye of the storm, you know sometimes you, whatever if you're in the middle of something, you know sometimes the way you make decisions, the way that your emotions are right there, you I mean you I mean, when in when in doubt, when in fear, when in when when you feel like you're um it's it's a chaotic moment, your emotions are going crazy, zoom out. Because when you zoom out, then you can start getting God's perspective on things. You can get a different perspective on things, and then that will that will actually, if you could, if you could remind yourself. But you gotta you gotta preset your heart and your mind. See, this is one of the problems that that well that we all have. We all have an issue. So sometimes our our mind and our heart are not in unity. Our heart says one thing, but our mind. Is thinking another, or our minds thinking another, and and our and our hearts, it's they're not in connection, and so that's and when they're not in connection, when that causes division, so that affects how you react to situations, and so that's when we need some help. And as far as where my help comes from, my help comes from the Lord. My help comes from the Holy Spirit. Um, because at the at the end of the day, you know that's that's where you're you're going you're going to need help. Not you. Not everybody's going to be able to surround you that you're surrounded with are going to be able to help you. There's going to be some things that you're going to you're going to just need God's help. Now, whether you believe that or not, I mean that's a journey that you you have to go on yourself. Um, one thing that that He's been teaching me. Um, lately and over a period of time that's really set up this next boomerang and I haven't even talked about that all the different things that he's set up for this year at least in our life is that that truth is not just um, a fact truth is not just a concept truth is not just a principle a lot of people come into something that's a truth and they build their whole ideology around it it's not as truth is a person. Truth is is a person. Jesus Christ is the way, he's the truth and he's he's the life. And so so again, 
if that's true, which it is, then when you're in something and you're trying to try to figure out and you feel chaotic, when in doubt in your own, because when it comes to us, you know, we, we're trying to solve it in our own pocket. When in doubt, zoom out. So take some time. I know this is getting longer because, but may or may not be with me right now. But when in doubt, zoom out. Take some time this weekend to zoom out and get that perspective and start building that perspective. So when you do cross that next hurdle or obstacle, that you'll you'll be able to handle it differently and you'll, you will build momentum in your life. And that's my prayer for you to have a blessed weekend, have an awesome time with your family, and that, that you just continue to develop yourself uh, and, um, and live the, the best life possible. So I pray that you'll be blessed today, and I will see you soon next week.